Hello, hello, and welcome to myfinanceteacher.org. In this video, we are talking about energy, specifically crude oil and S&P 500. Before we continue, let me remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and click that bell notification. Thanks a lot. Starting with the S&P 500, I think the ongoing intermediate cycle is getting a little old. The previous cycle lasted here between December and June 2019, and since June until now, the current intermediate cycle has already been going on for half a year. Half a year is the normal duration for these cycles, so over the next several weeks, I would expect to see some decline in S&P 500. These intermediate cycles usually consist of shorter term daily cycles, which generally last for two to three months. We see one of them taking place from the beginning of June until August, second one until early October, third one into early December, which gives us an expected, remember nobody knows the future, expected daily and intermediate cycle low sometime in early February. Looking at other technicals, RSI, 14-day RSI is already into overbought territory, meaning S&P 500 is getting a little hot right now and it's time to cool down. Here, the top of the previous intermediate cycle was also signified by RSI getting into overbought territory. Currently, S&P 500 is stretched 9.7% higher than its 200-day moving average, which also tells me it's, it's possibly time for mean reversion into the declining phase of the intermediate cycle. Compare that 9.7% with, with the stretch we saw in early 2018 when S&P 500 was performing very well until it's peaked in late January. And at that time in late January, the stretch was only 10%. So the current stretch of 9.7% is also quite high. And if we see a decline in S&P 500 over the next couple of months, I would expect some weakness in crude oil as well. Although today we see a big green candle on crude oil, that's mostly because of the tensions in the Middle East. However, if you zoom out a little bit, after the previous intermediate cycle lasting between December and June this year, the current intermediate cycle has been somewhat stuck in this trading range between $50 and $60. There were a few days when crude oil poked above that level, but it quickly reversed and went down from that upper boundary. Taking into account that current intermediate cycle is also getting somewhat old, it's been going on for half a year and half a year is a normal duration, for these cycles, we should expect a low sometime in the next month or two. Especially, as I said, if the stock market declines. Usually weakness in the stock market or in the economy brings crude oil lower as well. Looking at RSI, it's not into overbought territory yet, but it's close to the overbought area. And on other technicals, it's poking above the upper range of the Bollinger Band late in the daily and intermediate cycle which is also a sign that oil is getting a little too hot and it's time to cool off. The price is currently stretched 8.8% above its 200-day moving average. If you compare that again to early 2018 when crude oil price did very well, in January 2018 the stretch above 200-day moving average was 28%. So if tensions in the Middle East continues, we might still see crude oil inch a little bit higher because it's not stretched on the upside too much yet. But I personally don't want to buy crude oil when RSI is nearly into overbought territory this late in the intermediate cycle. However, over the next month or two, if crude oil price dips below the 200-day moving average, I would view that as a very nice buying opportunity for 2020 because I think we might see some inflationary pressures this year as the US dollar is already dropping a lot for the last few weeks. That's all for now. If you find these videos interesting or even enlightening, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Remember to have a nice weekend and good luck in your trades.